Hello dear friends, welcome back again to one more video from my YouTube channel. Dear friends, in our previous video, we talked about the external genitalia of a female reproductive system. Now, in this video, we're going to understand one more very important structure, one more very important gland present in the female reproductive system that is nothing but the mammary glands. Mammary glands, as we know, let us write it first, mammary mammary glands in human beings in all the mammals we have a pair of mammary glands present and these mammary glands in mammals they are present both in males as well as, as, well as in females in male human being also we have got a mammary glands and in the females also we have got a mammary glands but in case of males the mammary glands are functionless whereas in case of females the mammary glands they have got a particular function they have got a particular job they have got a particular responsibility what is the responsibility of the mammary gland in the females it is nothing but the secretion of milk to feed the young one after the delivering of the baby that is why the female mammals they have got the functional mammary glands these mammary glands they are generally referred as breasts they are breasts and these breasts or mammary glands they are the modified they are modified sweat glands sweat glands in case of human beings, we have two different glands located below the skin. One is oil gland and another one is a sweat gland. They are technically called as sudorific glands and the sebaceous glands. These mammary glands, they are the modified version of a sweat gland. Now, let us understand the external appearance and the internal structure of the mammary glands. Now you people got an idea what is the importance of the mammary gland. It is nothing but to feed the young one with the milk. Now the main job of the mammary gland is to produce the milk. Now where exactly the milk formation takes place? From the place of origin of the milk it comes out through the nipple here so that the baby can suckle that milk. We we'll understand the entire pathway of milk inside the mammary gland by using a trick by the end of this video. Okay, now these mammary glands, they are present at the chest region, abdomen. They are present at the chest region and hence we have got the ribs here. They are the ribs. Ribs. They are the ribs. In between the ribs, there are some muscles. They are the muscles between the ribs. After the ribs, we have got a particular muscle located. That muscle is called as pectoralis major muscle. Pectoralis major muscle, it is present in between the rib cage and the mammary glands. Now, on the outer side of this, Pectora, pectolaris major muscle we have got the mammary gland as the female is getting sexually matured hennu yavaga prabuddhavasthige bartirtaalo jaise hi ek aurat badi umar ki hona shuru hoti ek bachchi ek badi umar ka hona shuru hoti at that point of time inside her body there is more amount of progesterone gets secreted as the female is getting matured, sexually matured, simultaneously in her body, the level of progesterone also getting increased. As a result of that increased level of progesterone, there is a fat deposition. There is a fat deposition. This is all the deposition of the fat. There is a fat deposition in the chest region, particularly in the mammary glands. This fat deposition, it is due to the progesterone level, my dear friends. Remember, it is very, very important for NEAT. Due to the deposition of fats, the size of the breast, it getting enlarged. 
it getting bigger and the amount of fat in a breast or in a mammary gland it varies from person to person that is why we have variable size of these mammary glands in the woman now their fat this fat it is nothing but the structure that enlarges it is nothing but the enlargement the enlargement of the breast it is now after this we have got many lobules here many lobules are present inside the breast they are all the lobules this is one lobule here we have got another lobule this is another lobule like that we have got one more lobule here here we have one more lobule they are all the lobules these lobules they are called as memory lobules or simply they are called as memory lobes inside these lobes let us talk about the number of the memory lobes in each memory gland in each breast we have approximately 15 to 20 memory lobes are present but here i have drawn only one two three four memory glands have got a circular structure we have approximately 15 to 20 such lobes such compartments such chambers are present inside the breast they are called as memory lobes or memory lobules inside these memory lobules there are certain cluster like structures present cluster like structures are present and these clusters they are exactly arranged just like a grape grapes we have got a cluster of cells are present. These cells, they are called as memory alveolus. These cells, one, this is one memory alveolus. We have another memory alveolus. Like that, approximately we have 200 to 300 memory alveolus. 200 to 300 memory alveolus in each lobe this is one lobe this is one lobe in that one lobe we have got approximately 200 to 300 such alveoli they are simply called as alveoli they are also called as alveolus now these alveolus are the main structures my dear friends they are the main structures in which the milk production takes place the milk is getting secreted after the delivering of the baby. What is actually happening is, once the mother delivers the baby, suddenly the pituitary gland, the pituitary gland of a mother, it starts secreting a particular hormone. Its name is prolactin. Prolactin. Remember the name of this hormone? It is very, very important for competitive exams. After the delivering of the baby, the mother's pituitary gland starts secreting prolactin hormone and this prolactin hormone it comes and stimulates these alveoli it comes and stimulate the alveoli to produce the milk now the milk production has begun whatever the milk which is produced initially initially directly it will not come out initially it is stored inside this free space this free space I am talking about. This free space. This free space it is called as the lumen. Alveolar lumen. This is alveolar lumen. This is alveolar lumen. This free space it is called as alveolar lumen. The cells of alveoli they secrete the milk. Initially that milk is stored in the alveolar lumen. What is the function of alveolar lumen? It was asked in the previous year Jipmer examination. The main function of the alveolar lumen is storage. Storage of milk. Then which hormone stimulates the production of the milk? It is prolactin. Which gland of the female body secretes the prolactin? It is the pituitary gland. When the pituitary gland secretes the prolactin hormone? After the delivering of the baby. Very simple. Now, 
whatever the milk which is secreted in the alveoli it get initially stored inside the lumen inside this cavity that cavity is nothing but alveolar lumen from this cavity now the milk is poured into the milk is poured into a small small tubules they are all the small small tubules red color that i have drawn they are all the small small tubules each alveoli has got its own tubule it is nothing but a mammary tubules mammary tubules now the milk comes to the mammary tubules from that mammary tubules now the milk entered into another wider structure that connects all the mammary tubules together this is nothing but the mammary duct this black color that I have drawn with the black color marker, it is the mammary duct. From the lobules, now the milk is coming to the tubule. From tubule, it is coming to the duct. And from the duct, this duct opens and becomes wider. It becomes wider. This is the wider portion. It becomes wider. This wider portion is called as ampulla. It is called as ampulla. Now the milk is coming to the ampulla. From that ampulla, again the tube becomes narrow. Ampulla is the broader part. Ampulla is the broader duct. Again it becomes narrow. That narrow portion, it is called as lactiferous duct. From that lactiferous duct, the milk entered into the nipple region. What is this nipple? Nipple is an erectile structure at the tip of the breast so that the baby can suckle the milk easily. And near to this nipple, there are some, there is some black color or dark color patch is present. This dark color patch, it is called as areola. Areola. And this, a, this areola has got approximately 8,000 sensory sensory cells. Why the sensory cells are present at the areola, areolar region? Because if the baby want to have the milk from the mother, it goes and starts sucking the nipple. As a result of that, here we have got certain sensory cells. These sensory cells, they send a signal to the pituitary gland then the pituitary gland produces one more hormone the pituitary gland produces one more hormone what is the name of the hormone it is oxytocin oxytocin this oxytocin is very very important word for a competitive exams oxytocin hormone it ejects the milk outside whereas prolactin hormone it is responsible for the production of the milk whereas progesterone hormone is responsible for the production of the fat inside the mammary glands now this is the entire structure of a mammary gland in the females as i promised at the beginning of this video we'll understand a trick to learn the pathway of the milk. Halu, taiye yadi halu, yelli hutti, yelli ke bartha da. A yalla pathway na, a hadi na nao, vandh trick mukhantara kaliyono anthe hele da. Milk kaha banra aur kaha se bahar nikal ra? Iska pathway samajne ke vaste ek trick ko samajna bahut hi zaruri hai. Dekho, pehle mein bata dao kaha se kaha tak nikla? Kyunki that pathway it is very very important for competitive exams. Milk gets secreted, milk gets secreted inside the lobule. This is the lobule. Inside the lobule, the milk gets secreted. From that lobule, from that lobule, then the milk, milk goes to the mammary tubule. From the lobule, it is going to the tubule. From the tubule, it is going to the duct. From the duct, it is going to the ampulla. From the ampulla, it is going to the, again, a lactiferous duct. And from the lactiferous duct, ultimately, the milk get released out through the nipple. This sequence is very, very important for competitive exams, my dear friends. What is that sequence? 
from tubule sorry from lobule to the tubule from tubule to the duct from duct to the ampulla from ampulla to the again lactiferous duct and from that lactiferous duct it comes out through the nipple to understand this or to remember this in a sequence we have to remember a word let us write the word here luta dia luta dia lactose nanne nanhe bacche ke liye nanne bacche ke liye luta diya lactose nanne bacche ke liye what do you mean by lactose lactose means milk 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 is uh, scientifically called as lactose luta diya lactose nanne bacche ke liye मतलब एक माँ अपने नन्हे से बच्चे के लिए अपना दूध लुटा रही है ट्यूब्यूल इट इज टा लुटा दिया देन वी हैव गॉट दी देन वी हैव एम्प्यूला स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए it is a lactiferous duct can be remembered with the help of lactose then it comes out through the nipple that is nothing but a n n you have to remember these words lobules to tubules tubules to the duct mammary duct and from the mammary duct it comes to the ampulla from ampulla to the lactiferous duct and from that lactiferous duct it comes out through the nipple here l stands for mammary lobule t stands for the tubule mammary tubule d stands for mammary duct a stands for ampulla lactose stands for lactiferous duct and n stands for nipple luta diya lactose nanne se bacche ke liye nanne se bacche ke liye you have to remember you can do any kind of story you can relate any kind of story to remember or to understand the subject because biology is a very vast subject my dear friends to understand in a sequence we have to have construct some kind of silly it may be silly some kind of silly words or silly sentences i hope you people have got an entire idea about the mammary glands in case of females in our next video we are going to understand the gamete formation that is nothing but a gametogenesis thank you so much my dear friends